everyone. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a function f, which is defined on closed interval 0, 1, and its definition is f of x is equal to x cube. Get it? And uh, they have given a partition to us. Simply, what we have to do, we have to find upn as well as we will find upper integral also. It is not mentioned here, but we are going to find upper integral also. Okay, so let us start with a given function. First of all, we will try to draw the graph of function, then we will go for upper sum. Okay, uh, see what we have to do, we have to draw the graph. So we have, we have, see to draw the graph, we replace f of x by y. Okay, so we have y is equal to x cube, y is equal to x cube. It's not a straight line. Okay, it's not a parable also. So what will we do? We will try to find multiple points on a graph and we will try to join them by our free hand drawing. So we'll have the required graph. So I will draw one table here to find multiple points on a graph. So here x, y and uh, x, y. First I put x is equal to 0. If I put 0 here, y will be 0. The point will be 0, 0. I will put x is equal to 1 here. Y will be 1. So we will have 1, 1. After that, I will put x is equal to 2. 2 cube is uh, 8. So 2 comma 8. Okay. So let us try to uh, find those points. 0, 0 is here, right? 0, 0 is here. 1, 1, 1, 1 is here. 2 and 2 comma 8. 8 actually it is out of our uh, diagram. Getting? But uh, definitely we have understood, okay, how to draw the graph. So graph will be like this. Okay. So such type of graph we have. But see, we have to focus only on this part 0 to 1. Okay, 0 to 1. So only this part we have to consider. See, let me draw it properly. Okay, so it will be like this. Yes. Yes, we got a graph. Let us go further. After that, we partition is given to us. What we have 0, 1 by n, 2 by n, 3 by n, 4 by n, and so on. That means length of each sub interval is 1 by n. They have divided this interval 0, 0, 1 in n equal parts. Getting they have divided it in n equal parts. So 1 by n, 2 by n, like that. So here let me mention here delta xi, that means length of each interval is each sub interval is 1 by n. Okay. So after that, we will go further. We will find capital Mi. Now let me mention now capital Mi, its definition is supremum of f of x such that xi minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to xi. So this is equal to supremum of f of x such that, see here, as you can see, the first interval is 0 comma 1 by n. Second sub interval is 1 by n comma 2 by n. Third sub interval 2 by n comma 3 by n. So the ith sub interval will be i minus 1 by n i by n okay so that's why its limits will be uh, i minus 1 by n less than or equal to x less than or equal to i by n as you can see the graph is increasing okay so this is an increasing function so obviously so when you find a supremum we will get that supremum at right end point for example consider the first sub interval 0 comma 1 by n tell me at which point function has maximum value Obviously, the answer is 1 by n. At 1 by n, function has a maximum value for first sub interval. When you talk about a second sub interval, 1 by n, comma 2 by n, where the function has maximum value, obviously at 2 by n, function has maximum value. That means at right end of sub interval, function get its maximum value since function is increasing. So same thing will happen here. Function will get maximum value, supremum value at point i by n. So I suppose to write f of i by n. So now the question is how to find f of i by n. No need to worry. Since we have the definition of function f of x is equal to x cube. So definition if I follow, we will have i cube by n cube. So in this way, we have calculated capital M and which is true for all i running from 1 to n. After that, we have to calculate uh, upper sum. Okay, so there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. Let us calculate upper sum now. Okay, you p n of f. So you know that it's uh, formula is summation i running from 1 to n capital Mi delta xi. 
ओके लेट एस पुट द वैल्यूज बोथ वैल्यूज वी हैव कैपिटल एम आई इज इक्वल टू आई क्यूब बाय एन क्यूब एंड डेल्टा एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू वन बाय वी नो सो लेट मी राइट इट हियर समेशन आई रनिंग फ्रॉम वन टू एन सो दिस इज आई क्यूब बाय एन क्यूब एंड एन टू दिस इज वन बाय सो सी हियर एक्चुअली दैट एन इंडिपेंडेंट ऑन आई एन क्यूब इज ऑल्सो इंडिपेंडेंट ऑन आई सो वी कैन टेक आउटसाइड द समेशन so n into n cube that means 1 upon n raised to 4 can come outside the summation i running from 1 to n i cube let us expand the summation now so this is 1 upon n raised to 4 if if i put a, i is equal to 1 1 cube right i is equal to 2 2 cube i is equal to 3 3 cube and so on the last term will be i am putting i is equal to n so n cube do you know how to add cube of first n natural number a very simple formula it has let me write here 1 upon n raised to 4 into the formula is n n plus 1 by 2 we are already familiar with this formula but now we have its square getting we have its square so let us simplify it further right so this is equal to 1 upon n raised to 4 into let me expand the bracket so the here n square we have and uh, it's n plus 1 square that means we will have n square plus 2n plus 1 and here 2 square which is 4 so n square n square will get cancel so n square plus 2n plus 1 divided by 4 n square see now we can divide separately what will happen if i divide separately so n raised n square n square cancel 1 by 4 here 2n 1n will get cancel or uh, 2 by 4n plus 1 by 4n square if i divide separately okay so here also we can cancel 2 2 so 1 by 4 Plus one by two n, right? Plus one upon four n square. So this is required value of u p n of f. After that, we are going to calculate upper integral also u f. So let us find it. It is also very simple. Now, now let me calculate u f upper integral. I hope all of you are familiar with the definition. So definition says this is a uh, infimum of infimum of u p f u p n f here. Okay, p n is partition okay it's partition of closed interval av see for different different partition we will have different upper sums getting but see if you increase the partition obviously uh, that upper sum will reduce and we want its minimum value since we have its definition is infimum so that's why uh, here simply i will apply the limit limit n tends to infinity to get a required answer it's upn of f we have got so 1 by 4 Plus one by two n plus one by four n square. So if you apply the limit, we will have the value of upper integral. Okay. See, one by four is constant. If you apply the limit, we will have same. If I put n is equal to infinity, we know that one upon infinity is zero. So the value of second term is zero. If you apply limit to the last term, then also there is one upon n square. That means one upon infinity, which is again zero. So the answer is one by four. So the value of upper integral is one by four, right? So example is over. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.